Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I chose to fasten my handrails to my null post. If you remember, I built these null posts several videos back. I finally trimmed them out, I got them sprayed, did a lot of other things to this staircase setup, and I'll show you some of that as we go. But I'm gonna be showing you what I chose to fasten my handrails to the post, and that is gonna be this zip bolt system right here. It's kind of like this little key slot that has a shaft that slides in to a round um, circular cutout in here. And I'll show you how this works up close here in a minute. But uh, first impression of this thing, it's really kind of light duty, but we are using it. And we're actually doing one other thing to add some strength and sturdiness to this whole setup. So the reason I went with this is because we have uh, box nules. So they're hollow on the inside. We can't use like a big bolt like what you would normally see in a solid null post. But I'm gonna show you how this works and let me know what you think about it. So I went ahead and got that handrail cut. Now we're gonna do a dry fit or rather like a snug fit. Dry fit usually relates to using glue, but we're not gonna be using any glue obviously. So this post has some play in it. And if I just push that play away from it and release it, then I have a nice snug fit right there. And that is gonna be good to go. I'm gonna check and make sure it's level later. But I wanna make sure since there is some play in it that I didn't push it away. And I'm still perfect right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get this process started is just lay my handrail flat right here on the floor. You know, if you're gonna be worried you're gonna drill through this and go through the floor, you might wanna prop it up, but I'm not really concerned with that because this thing is so thick. And I've got my depth, depth stop right here, this electrical tape. So I've got a lot of meat still left after I stop right there, as you can see. So I'm not worried about going through and hitting the floor. So now with this little zip bolt system that I'm using, we're gonna come in an inch and a half right there. And we're gonna drill our one inch Forstner bit an inch and three eighths deep into that. We're gonna go an inch away from the bottom of this handrail. So we're gonna measure from here and go up an inch. And then we're gonna go just dead center of this. Now to go dead center is easy because all we have to do is just transfer this line right here. We'll line it up with that groove. So it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see this, but I lined it up with that groove right there. Just transferred it up. Now we're gonna go up one inch too, so I already set this up. Is that, yeah, one inch. And then I can just, just go right there. So that's exactly where those two lines intersect that's where we need to drill this hole. Next thing we're gonna do is take out our Forstner bit and then put in our 3 8 spaddle bit. Some people call it spade, some people call it paddle, but you can't go wrong with spaddle. It's just like people ask me, is it wainscoting? Is it wainscoting? It's both, I don't know. It's just really not that important. So anyways, we're gonna take that 3 8 spaddle bit we're gonna go right into that there, that where our lines intersected. So here's the deal with this little zip bolt, slip fix rail bolt system. I'm gonna show you how this works. This isn't a sponsored video. I just picked this thing up today. It's today's the first day I heard of it. Um, so here's how this works. You're gonna get this little shaft right here. Now this little shaft is going to slide into this little slot right here. So this is attached to the handrail. This is attached to the post. This is gonna slide right in like that. So just like that, bam. So to get this attached to the handrail, there's this kind of metal body looking thing. And this is reverse threaded into that. So really when you're tight, when you're loosening it, you're turning it lefty-loosey, you're actually tightening it, making it tighter. 
This thing is pretty much just going to drop in here and then you're going to slide that shaft through and you're going to kind of fidget around with it really until you can get it threaded and now you can see that didn't take long at all. I got it threaded. But that's pretty much the system that we're using. And then the next step in the process is going to be to take this little key slot right here. We're going to put that wider circle up and then the shaft will drop into that. And I made this jig to do that. This is just a piece of scrap I wrote on here top and then just put crosshairs and made a guide um, pilot hole for the bit to go in. And I'll start that with a small bit like that and then I'll follow that with my Forstner bit. So basically, you know, I would do this, drill into that, take that off, follow it with the Forstner bit, put this thing in here, and then screw it in. All right, so let's get this thing going. Got my jig, it's oriented to the top. I'm gonna line that up on each edge, get my little guide going for my Forstner bit. That's dead center. Then we're gonna creep up on our 5 16 bore with this Forstner bit. It's pretty flush on the left. I can put a little more pressure on the bottom right. And I think that's going to do it right there. So that's perfectly flush across. And we can check it with a straight edge and make sure we're not teeter tottering. We're perfect. Then these two Phillips screws are just going to hold that right there. Bam. All right, you can see our shaft right there. I got my hex bit in position. Now as I turn this, you're going to see that start to raise. That's kind of the whole idea. That comes out, it slides into the slot on the post, and then once you've got it in the slot, you turn it back the other way, and then it pulls tight. You can see it coming down. So that's really it. It's that simple. All right. So that thing is in there good now, right where we want it. Now what we can do, we can get a, um, a four foot level and we can kind of play with this thing until it's perfectly level. We can move this up a little bit. We got about three quarters of an inch in that slot that we can move this around in. And also it has this kind of twist factor to it. We want to make sure that it's perfectly straight when we tighten up these bolts right here. Bam, I'm going to call that good. So this one right here doesn't have really any twist to it anymore. So we know that caught in the slot and it's tight. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Bam, done. All right, so we got the rail in. It's nice and sturdy. We made sure it was level across and level as far as the twist. Now we're gonna do one more screw for added strength because these little parts, I just feel like they're kind of light duty. And we have plate a place right here to put one more long screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We've done it on the other rails over there as well. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing up in here just right into the post. If we drill a pilot hole there and just, we got some three inch um, spack screws, Torx head, we're just gonna put them right up in there, right up in there, finally got it to focus. All right, as you can see on these handrails, we got a nice tight fit up against our newel post. We got that screw right there holding it down for us, giving us a nice anchor. Just added peace of mind, in my opinion. One of those things that just helps you sleep better at night. And then that's how I chose to 
mount my handrails to my newel post. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you like the way this came out, let me know what you think about my post. And this is my first time to build custom newel posts. I definitely learned some things along the way. Things I would and wouldn't do again, but overall it was a fun experience. That's how we're doing this. I got one more to do, and then we're gonna be doing the balusters. I don't know which ones we're gonna do. Like I mentioned, I haven't decided on that yet, but either like iron, like kind of what's in right now, or maybe just square wooden ones. I don't know, let me know what you think. At this point, I'm pretty much just telling my wife, hey, just pick something, because we're not really gonna stay in this house forever but we do want to make it nice. We're thinking we'll be here like five to 10 years. So anyways, like I mentioned, let me know what you think of this whole little project that we got going on. And if you have any tips, I'm not a stair guy. I would like to be one day, step up my stair game, no pun intended. So <laughs> I think that's a good time to end it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.